Well, folks, welcome home and welcome to another episode here at Gideon's Tactical. I am your host, Aaron, and we are looking at the longest running bag in my regular EDC system. We're looking today at the Vertex Gamut. Now, I have had this for over a year. I have integrated and gone back and forth between one or two other packs, but I always come back to this as my day in, day out pack for a couple different reasons that I'm gonna share with you today. So today, I'm gonna to break down the bag. We are gonna be doing an upcoming video on the EDC bag, which will be this bag with all the contents. I'm not gonna go through all the contents of this bag. Today, I'm just gonna show you what this bag has to offer. And in an upcoming follow-up video, I'll go through all the contents of the bag and what I carry with me when I walk out the door, when I'm going to the office, when we're going on vacation, when we're going you know, to the mall for a day, and I'm carrying all my gear with me. What do I have with me? That will be coming down the line, but today, I want to share with you why this is my go-to bag. When people ask me like, hey, I just need like a really solid EDC bag and I'm willing to spend the money. This is the one I'm willing to recommend to them every time. So I'll go ahead and hit the specs with you here real quick as well. Now this is going to be 22 inches high, which is great. Me being 6'2", about 100, or sorry, 215 pounds. Uh, this fits great on me. It's going to fit a lot of gear. Uh, so 22 inches high. 14 inches wide, seven inches deep, which means it's a 28 liter pack. It'll be able to hold your 15 inch laptops, no problem. It is made out of Cordura fabric. I can't seem to find what denier it is. Um, it's probably around the 500. I would not say it's a thousand D, but super heavy duty. I, again, have used this for over a year, literally every day. If I walk out the door, this is going with me. If I'm going on a hiking trip, this isn't staying in the car, but this is going with me. If I'm going to work, this is going with me. If I'm going to the um, uh, uh, grocery store, you know, boom, we're taking this with me. And this just goes everywhere. And so I've not seen any sort of fraying, any sort of wearing on like the elastics, uh, anything like that. The zippers are all YKK. So that's another big plus as well. And uh, just really tough, durable, good fabric and just really well laid out and really well designed. And for me, it's very tough and durable after a year of use. So this is another super cool feature that really makes me gravitate towards the bag that most other bags aren't gonna have. This has a hidden compartment right here that you may not even have noticed until I just pointed it out. And what it offers is this panel with this nice grab tab and I'm gonna try and do this all on camera here for you guys, but there you go. Now you can either button this closed and someone could not walk by and pull this, or you can have it unbuttoned up here near the top and these two little hidden little attachments. Um, and then you can easily rip this open. And I have a ton of storage in here. And what's really cool is not only do I have my IFAC in here from ITS Tactical, uh, but then I have uh, a little mini survival kit in here, you know, with a couple items that we'll go through later. Uh, I have a blade tech lock that has my multi-tool and then I have Molly to it, a hardened um, sunglass holder. This is a Molly compatible panel that you can Molly compatible anything you want to. We've got a huge amount of Velcro as well. So you could even do like a Velcro backed pouch and tear away like a IFAC if you wanted to. There's a very large, um, from what I can tell, probably about a five by six right here. So you could absolutely do a lot of those tearaway IFACs right there. The other awesome feature is that you can take this, roll it all up, stuff it underneath, and then you'll always have this Molly compatible panel out and exposed. So if you don't really need to hide anything and you just want easier access, this will completely go away and store underneath the pack, which is super cool. Totally dig that. And then the final feature is if you're carrying maybe like a helmet, like a motorcycle helmet, bike helmet, um, or you just want to stuff this out completely, this has... Uh, aluminum G hooks here that you can attach right there on either side, just like that. And now you have like a beaver tail basket that you can either throw like really large poofy jackets or your helmets in if you wish. So three different ways to use this back panel and gives a ton of organization capabilities on the backside, either completely concealed or larger stuff that you would never be able to fit inside this pack or 
completely stowed away and Molly compatible back. So really for me, this is one of the only sticking points with the layout of the bag. Now each side is gonna have these ambidextrous uh, water bottle pouches, which is awesome. They will fill, fit uh, 32 ounce Nalgene's or even 48 ounce Nalgene's. Uh, you're seeing some of the B-roll you know, that I'm rolling in. I just forgot it, I'm downstairs. I don't wanna walk back upstairs and find one of my Nalgene's. Um, they will fit in here as long as you don't have the pockets that run underneath, which is a cool idea. So you have these organizational pockets. This one's more of a dump. And then there's like this zipper panel that goes all the way down here, which is super cool. But if you overstuff and overpack these, um, it's really hard to get a 32 ounce analogy in here. You basically can't. Any, you know, like three and a half inch diameter, bigger water bottles, you can't do it. Then you have to go to one of those more cylindrical, narrower, like three inch, um, like Camelback or Hydro Flask that are more around four, uh, 24 ounces. Those will fit in there, no problem. So that's my only real critique is that the, just the layout doesn't lend itself to be th that way. If they had just made these uh, pouches just slightly bigger, then it would have been you know not a problem. You could have totally stuffed out the organization on either side and still been able to do that. So that's just something to consider how much gear you're gonna carry may limit the size of water bottle that you can carry. But they have these nice little you know D-rings here, good elastic bungees that you can you know loop up and put over the head of most water bottles so that they're not gonna fall out right away. Uh, really cool. And then again, that secondary organization pocket that you're gonna find on either side very cool just depends on how much water you need to carry so price point i want to hit that with you now when i bought this i think i paid 180 for it uh that is still about the going rate for the bracken i think is what they call it um or breaking um color combination this brown with leather that really stood out to me because it's just so um not only classy looking but also so neutral. I mean, when people see this, they just think it's an expensive, you know, like do everything bag, you know. Um, there, there are several different other color combinations. You can get the other color combinations for a little bit less. Uh, again, we'll have links in the description below over to Amazon. That's a great way to help support the channel when you guys use hyperlinks like that, that we offer you to Blaze HQ and Amazon. We get a small kickback, helps me get out there, buy gear just like this, and be able to use it for like over a year to give you this type of video. Uh, so thank you for using those hyperlinks. We really appreciate that. Uh, there are a few other color combinations. There's like just regular black. I think there's gray. I think there may be like a green. Um, and, and, you know, there's, there's a couple of other combinations out there that I've seen for about 150 on Amazon before. So between 150 and 200 anywhere in there um, is what you're going to expect to pay for this bag, which I know is not for everybody. You can get similar performance out of bags, you know, that are like 80 bucks, but they're not going to have anywhere near the capability and features that this is going to offer you. So it really br breaks down to features what how much organization how much layout and performance do you need in your pack not everybody needs a pack like this i do so we got a lot going on here on the back of the bag i'll talk about straps here first really nice thick heavy duty straps that have some breathable mesh there um, these are um, folded over seamed on either side so they're very durable but what I found is like for maybe a five mile hike, this these can kind of tend to rub on you a little bit. It would have been nice if there was some rollover foam right here around your neck area. It's not a, a deal killer by any means. And it's not like annoying. It's not like rubbing me really raw or anything. It's just something that I kind of noticed that you'll find with more like backpacking backpacks that will roll the mesh over right here near the yoke. Just something to consider there. I love the leather highlights on this particular model. Lots of these, I think they call it 1919 um, daisy chain that also acts as your sternum strap attachment and that was a huge selling point for me is that I could either attach a sternum strap that it comes with or remove it so that's awesome so for me for EDC around town I never need a sternum strap it just gets in the way and bounces around some of those ones that are integrated in you can't remove are really annoying the, the bag has a nice layout that I might want to use but I just can't handle the sternum strap and the belly strap just flopping around these have a sternum and belly strap that are completely removable and you can just put into the bag and then if you are doing a heavier load for longer periods of time you maybe are taking this like on a cruise to Alaska uh, and then you know you're, you're just going around town for some of it, and then you, hey, yeah, you're actually gonna do like a hike for a couple miles. Uh, boom, throw the sternum strap and belly strap on, you're good to go. So I really like that aspect, but it really does carry a heavy load well. Uh, this has around 15 pounds in it when I'm fully loaded out with my laptop and everything. The back mesh panel is pretty breathable for uh, a backpack. It does have this pass-through right here that you can not only slide over luggage loops, but with the integrated panel in here, you can get a ballistic plate for uh, protection and literally use this like Captain America style and use this as like a shield, which is pretty sick. And uh, that will lead us to the concealed carry option as well as the, um, what's the word I'm looking for? 
uh, ballistic plate option. Now, uh, all Vertex bags, from my to my knowledge, if they come with a concealed carry compartment, will have this really big rubberized grab handle. It's cool. I don't carry my pistol in my backpack um, unless I'm basically having to like take it off my body to transport it from place to place for some weird reason. Um, I always carry it on my body. I don't walk around town with my pistol in my backpack. I just don't do that. But this will zip all the way around. So if you did want to do that, you can you know whip it open really clean. There we go. We have a huge Velcro panel on either side. I do carry spare mags in here though, and I do have a holster in case I do need to put it in there, take it off my body for a moment. I have to run into a post office or an area where I'm not allowed to carry a firearm. I can take it off, stick it in here for a few minutes, come back out and put it on there. And then there is this secondary zipper right here that has um, a rigid plastic frame. And that's what kind of gives it the rigidity and helps support heavier loads. But you can remove that and put a ballistic plate in here if you wish, which is super cool, particularly for those of you in this day and age that are um, concerned about that, maybe a college student or high school or, you know, any student, it doesn't matter. Uh, and you want that to have your kids safe or you yourself safe. Uh, and, and carry a ballistic plate, this absolutely can handle it. And the bag is laid out in such a way that it could handle that, that weight. So moving right along here, we have this nice little leather grab handle. There is a secondary grab hang handle back here. So there's two different ways that you can grab. This is just a cool little accent. There is, uh, I believe it's a two inch by two inch or maybe one inch by one inch, I can't remember. A little Velcro pouch here for morale. I like that a lot. You know, that's not this huge Velcro panel that screams tactical, but you can put a little morale um, indicator there. Totally love that. Got the Gideon's tactical logo there. Then we have another hidden compartment, really good loop over um, hang with the um, bag so that water isn't gonna seep in there. One zipper pull, very large. It's basically this entire size right here. It's probably about, I would say maybe six by eight minimum. A huge dump pocket. I just throw all kinds of different crap that I need in there. You know, I have hand sanitizer and, you know, gum. Uh, I have, it does have a in red right there. So, you know, I got everything from a Bic lighter, emergency whistle, backup flashlight, and a house key. So uh, that's an added bonus as well. But very large dump pocket. I use this pocket a lot. You know, someone hands me something, you know, real quick that I, I just, I don't have room in my pocket or I just don't want to think about it at the moment. Boom, I unzip that, throw it in there. We got our two zippers here, and these will either be, and I'm gonna try and show you here, you can see these little uh, wings right here. Now these can snap so that when you unzip it, it'll only do like a little clamshell, and then you can just get into the top, or you can leave these unzipped, and these will go all the way down to the bottom. So it's kind of your call how you wanna do it. I'm gonna try and do this here if I can. I left my laptop at the office today. So this will fit my laptop, and that's a major reason why I go with this model. Now I was doing for several, several months, like six months at least, I was doing the EDC pack, um, EDC ready pack, and I love that pack. And if you're not carrying a laptop, I would say go with that model, just because it's a little more compact, um, not quite as much space. That what I was finding when I wasn't carrying a laptop, I had a lot of extra space, but now with work, I have to carry a laptop with me, and that's really where this comes in. Or you just like carrying a ton of gear, that's where this would come in as well because of its size. But basically, you got these nice wings here. Um, you got your Velcro panel. They have tons of Velcro everywhere, so you can like Velcro the crap out of this. I think they have like their Tactigami, Vertex Tactigami, I think, options. Again, we'll have a ton of links below. Just check out the links, lots of them. Uh, but Velcro panel here, Velcro panel all the way down. Then you have like mesh, you know, I love the red. It's really thought through stuff, red here. So, you know, you can put snacks and all that. This is your sleeve for your laptops. It is padded on the bottom. So if you were to drop it by mistake, you know, at least you have a little bit of padding there. Another huge plus. Then we have two extra, me me la la la, extra mesh pouches right here. So again, tons of organization. And then uh, we have horizontal organizational panel right here. Hopefully you guys can kind of see. Um, that can hold your pens or flashlights and that type of thing. Um, I had an, a, a sling bag that didn't really work very well. My pens and pencils and lights were falling out of it constantly. I don't have that problem with this layout. So it's just something to consider. But uh, as well as just this complete you know, clamshell opening. So I can easily carry my full-size iPad Air. Uh, I can carry my Bible, a couple extra books, and a laptop as well as a bunch of extra organization in here easily with the size and layout that this has to offer. Finally, before I forget, it does have this little attachment here for your water bladders. If you are using this more as an outdoor pack or you're transitioning back and forth, I would not say this is like a day pack that I'm gonna go hike you know, 10 14ers this year with. 
Um, I could do it, but there are better packs out there that would just be a little more ergonomic and comfortable. I would say this is much more like EDC around town and then some um, short hikes, you know, like I'd say five miles or less when the, the opportunity calls for it. But uh, this is for your bladders as well. Easily hold a hundred ounce bladder and there are ambidextrous ports on either side for you to run your bladder hoses through. Well, there you have it, folks. I want to thank you for coming over here today. I hope you, this video has shown you why, for me, I see value in this pack, why I was willing to lay down my hard-earned money um, over a year ago to purchase this bad boy, and uh, why it consistently stays with me, and I have yet to find something that can replace it with all the needs and accessories and options that I personally look for in an everyday carry bag. So thank you so much for coming over here today. I hope this video has helped you out decide if this is the right do everything bag for you. Please um, subscribe, comment, like, share this video. If you're not a current subscriber, I'd ask you to become part of the GT family. Subscribe, we're throwing up videos every single week just like this, giving you full honest reviews and content, showing you what's good, what's bad about products and gear so that you can spend your hard-earned money wisely and just grow in your knowledge of systems and how to use systems. So I would ask you to make it a tactical part of your regular YouTube experience. And you regular subscribers, you're awesome. Thank you so much for your continued support. Check us out on all the relevant social media, Facebook, Instagram. We're throwing up stuff every single week there as well so you guys can constantly see what's up and coming. Finally, always remember, stay equipped, stay prepared, and we'll see you out there.